Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Walt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are back on our Plunder Pirates account after I am coming back from Finland and from New York uh, with the Rovio guys. So we are back. We are in action, as you can see. If I push this pumpkin up here, it goes to daytime. Who wants to be playing in daytime? No, I'm trying to go to a ghoulish nighttime game. Woo! Woo! <laughs> There's a bat right here flying around. Some sweet new decorations. Where's that ghost at? There's one guy that's chilling in a freaking ghost costume like he's got a, a sheet over his head. Let's see let's see what happens when we do this. I hope that we can find him. Let's go watch the camera and see if we can get him in there because I really want to get close to him or even see the bat or something like that. Is that him? No. That's just some more decorations. Sweet freaking... There he is. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're going to go up here. We're going to uh, train up some troops because there's a new one right here, the Frankenbrutenstein. You can only have one tavern limit. You can only have one of them. Um, he costs 4,000 gold, but he does 275 damage. He has 1,450 toughness. He is a beast. He is a beast. So we're going to train one of them up. We're going to train up eight of our juggernauts because juggernauts are OP and freaking boombastic. They do a whole bunch of damage. We're going to train them up. We're going to go in here and we're going to see what kind of stuff we can find when we go to plunder. All right? Deal with it. That's what we're doing. We're fighting and we're going to go plunder. We're going to go get ourselves some loot because I need some loot. Here we go. Perfect. Look at this. Woo! Homeboy's about to get wrecked. We're going to drop off... Uh, let's do one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully, the juggernauts are focused by the uh, cannon and not the uh, other guys. So we're gonna drop this right here, and we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, and start trying to do some work over there. Yeah. So the uh, cannon towers did not even focus on our gunners, which is why I dropped down two juggernauts. Just to help keep them safe. Um, we got Mr. Frankenbrutenstein over here going crazy on this lighthouse. He's like, I don't like your lighthouse. <laughs> I'm going to destroy it. Watch him. He's so crazy. He takes so long to swing to. Watch. He probably won't even be able to hit this building. Nope. I'm too big and too slow, but I do a lot of damage. So he's coming over here. He's going to wreck the wall. Boom. Did he destroy it? No. Okay. The gunner did. I thought, he, I thought he destroyed it through the wall. Maybe he did. Watch this. He's taking out that mortar with one hit get wrecked already got all the gold on the base pwning some noobs right now where are the rest of our gunners so we've got a whole bunch of gunners still up uh looks like how many juggernauts do we have oh we've got all of our juggernauts up this base is getting annihilated frankenbrutenstein is down because the enemies focused him down they're like we don't want this guy destroying our base but that was a bad move because he does damage slower than the other guys. So right now the other guys are the ones that are destroying your base, bro. And we're about to get... <laughs> what was that? We're about to get all of the gold from this base um, and completely wreck this guy. We oh, Goodness, we have a million gold. Can I upgrade my town hall with that? My town hall. I'm sorry, my pirate hall. What am I saying? Um, all right, we got all the loot. I don't want to get a three-star because I don't want to go too high in the trophy, so we're going to finish that right there. Whenever I go too high, I'm not able to find uh, that much loot, so I'm at 375 right now. 381, I'm sorry. Um, let's go ahead and let's see what. how much does it take to upgrade. It's 2 million. Woo! Goodness. All right, well, all I can upgrade is walls. You can see they're all almost upgraded. Let's go back in here and get another Frankenbrutenstein trained up and... Uh, eight more juggernauts. Why don't we do... Let's do some bombers with the juggernauts. Let's do ten of them, and then we're going to bring in the rest uh, gunners. So we're going to see if we can find ourselves another good base to attack, and then that's going to be this episode. This update suite, Fring and Brutenstein's awesome. I love the decorations. I'm a creative guy. I design stuff, so I love seeing really, really cool uh, implementations into the game like this. Uh, I feel like we can take this one. His walls are pretty strong, but we can get in there. So we're going to drop off uh, six of them right there. Frank and Brutenstein's coming in. One, two, three of our bombers. And then let's drop off. Uh, we should be able to drop off these guys up here and be pretty good. Drop off a couple of gunners down here. Not all of them because we got to save some of them uh, to get up into the base. And let's drop off the rest of our bombers right down there. That wasn't too good a placement. I'll drop off a couple gunners over here. 
And then now let's go ahead and use our gunner's abilities as they run up in there. Normally I would say don't use it before they get on the land because it's kind of a waste. Um, <clears throat> but we should be good here. Our Frankenbrutenstein is up in here wrecking house. Um, it's kind of hard to tell which health bar is his. I hope his isn't the red one. It might be the yellow one right there next to that uh, juggernaut. I, I still cannot get over the fact that I can scroll around the screen in this game. It's so amazing. It makes attacking so much more fun. Frankin Brutenstein's over here like, I'm going to steal your gold. All of it. <laughs> so he's over there annihilating right now. 50% destruction. All the gold is ours. And looks like my video... Uh... Uh... Is still going good so we are um, we're gonna use their ability right here once again the gunners and see how much of this we can get from them just completely annihilate it uh, I'm sorry about uh, no face cam in this guys it looks like it keeps messing up so you guys aren't gonna be able to see my pretty face I know it sucks it's terrible uh, but that's how it is so we are where's the rest of this gold are they, am I missing a gold mine or something yeah why did they all leave this okay we got one gunner coming over here to get this other thousand gold for us. What else do we have left? It looks like we've got one bomber up, one juggernaut. What is he doing? That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Mr. Juggernaut. He's like, I don't like your corner wall. <laughs> I'm taking your corner wall out. I'm taking this corner wall out. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, we got this gun over here. We got all the gold. I'm going to go ahead and finish one more time. And that is going to be it for this episode of Plunder Pirates with the Halloween update, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. I most definitely did. We got ourselves a good amount of loot. Let's see if we can go in here and, re and train up some stuff. So we've got our... Um, we can train up our Buccaneer. Uh, oh, we can train up him. Can we train up the Bomber? What does this one do? What's this? Boost damage caused when attacking enemy walls. Yeah, we'll use him as a wall breaker, so we'll go ahead and train that up. And then um, I definitely want to farm up the whole 2 million gold for the pirate hall, so I'm going to be doing that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, I really, really do appreciate it. Again, sorry for the face cam. I was recording it, and it messed up. Uh, so we are just going solo right now. But as always, guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. You guys rock. You are awesome. You're the best. Around. And make sure that you keep calm and play on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.